Hello YouTube, this is Kai from Kai Labs and today I'm showing you a cool little thing that you can do with CoreGem and Ableton Live. As you can see, I only have Ableton Live Lite, so it works with every version from Ableton Live. So what I'm going to do is I have this tool CoreGem and if you don't know what chord jam is, it's the ultimate chord machine, <laughs> if you believe audio modern. And this ultimate chord machine now features presets, presets in version 1.5. And as you can see, I use a preset that's called Cinematic 01A. Don't know why it's called that. But anyway, and as you can see, this these are this is the preset. And what I did, I copied the preset into the user track also. And there's this uh, little nice thing in CoreGem. You can have this playing parallel. So the robot, that's the preset, and the user track. And I just adjusted the chords here to be not chords but arpeggios as you can see this is an arpeggio this is an arpeggio and so on so and you can play these chords and arpeggios parallel and we just will do that now as you see this is here here is my chord gem and i route chord gem to the fourth track and so as you can see very nice without the arpeggio without the chords So, and if you think about it, it would be really nice to being able to route the robot track to one instrument and the arpeggio track to another instrument. Now, <laughs> now comes the trick. As you can see, we have the possibility not to route this through different channels, but through different devices. So as you can see, these are hardware devices that you can address with the robot and with the user track. The problem is, where do you get those MIDI ports? I mean, if you have two different hardware synthesizers, you could use them, <laughs> but most of us we don't have that. We have our virtual instruments in our DAW. So what do we do? As you can see, I'm using something that's called Loop MIDI. And this is a small tool from Tobias Ericsson. And it's donationware. And if you use that, you can create virtual MIDI ports. With these virtual MIDI ports, you can actually route your <laughs> hardware ports to your DAW, like Ableton Live. So let me just drink this. And as you can see, I have different virtual instruments here. And I also have this loop MIDI port as an input. And here and here. So if I want to use that, it sounds like that.
Okay. Let's have a look on what we have here. If you watch closely, you see that I'm also addressing two different channels here, which is usually not possible inside from um, Ableton Live. And here, as you can see, I'm just getting things over channel two. So, how does that work? Easy. In Code Jam, we also have the possibility to distribute our voices. Up to five voices can be distributed on different channels. Usually, this wouldn't apply to Ableton Live, as Ableton Live cannot route MIDI channels. It can route MIDI, but not MIDI channels. But if you address Ableton Live from a hardware port, like a keyboard or maybe an MPC or a push device or whatever, you can use those channels. And that's really great because now with Loop MIDI, we are coming from outside. So we can just listen to these different channels and just use these different channels. So as you can see, I just made one channel that's going to channel one, uh, one voice that's going to channel one, and all the other voices are going to channel two. So there's one thing that you should know about this voice distribution, and I have to show it to you. As you can see, this one, loop MIDI port one, which is the arpeggio, only addresses channel one. How come? This is because if there is only one note, it will use channel one. If there are concurrently two notes, it will use one and the next channel, which is in this case channel two. And if there are more than two, it will also use the next voice or the next uh, channel that is um, attributed. But in this case, it's channel two. And if there are more than three notes played at the same time, it will use the next and so on until five notes and five channels used. So this is why you only see one channel addressed in the arpeggio channel because it's not a polyphonic arpeggio it is a monophonic arpeggio if it was a polyphonic arpeggio it would be different but that's not what core gem is doing so we don't have to bother with that okay that is what i want to show to you today but there's also something that you should know about loop MIDI. If you're using more than one port, maybe this buffer here might be not big enough. So if you experience hanging MIDI nodes or such things, you should try to improve the buffer size so that yeah, everything will be played. I thank you for buying me a coffee and also have fun with my other videos. Bye bye.